Don't take your eyes off him, Goku. Not hey, even for a second. Anyway, Frieza. And now, the battle continues. Sorry if I look like crap. This is kind of an urgent video with stuff I really need to talk about because it's it's really important and it's really dangerous. So so I'm not using a script. I'm not using my cells or anything like that. I'm just sitting here face to face with you guys to talk about this because it's very urgent and it's honestly kind of an emergency and I need to get the word out there as fast as possible. So this might seem new to a lot of people. This is something that happened way before I exploded on YouTube, way before uh, I had almost 30,000 subscribers. This was back when I had a small number of maybe like less than 4,000 subscribers. So some of you might be new to this. You might not know, you might not know what the hell's going on or who this person I'm talking about is. So let me give you a bit of a recap. So back in 2018, I reviewed the movie Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It's an old review a long time ago. I don't care about it anymore, but that didn't stop this guy from being all wait a minute he said this movie sucks that's no good so for years i'm not kidding years and i have the receipts i've i made videos talking about this for years this guy has stalked me harassed me bullied me all because i said a movie he liked is bad and so i finally told him dude if you like it so much put your money where your mouth is and make a response video to it and he did he made a response video to it so i made a response video to him and he didn't like that one bit. He didn't like being challenged like that. So he got all huffy about it. And he even tried to issue copyright strikes against me. Twice. So yeah, this guy basically stalked me, harassed me, bullied me. And then when I called him out on it, tried to violate YouTube's own copyright system against me. <laughs> it was just, it, it was ridiculous. It's like the, the more you dug into the hole, the, the more you could not believe how far it went. It's like this This stuff makes Wonderland look like your backyard. It's just, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane. But anyway, it finally stopped, or at least I thought it stopped, back in like January of last year when I made another video about it and then that was the end of it. And yeah, I know I reacted to the response video again, but that was just meant to be something kind of fun. You know, we sit down, we look back on that cringe and, you know, we laugh and that's about it. And then... <laughs> Oh, I got some emails from YouTube just now, and it's it's kind of ridiculous. Hi, Razorblade. This is to notify you that we have received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content. Gee, I wonder who sent it. And that link video is the first video I made on Liam way back in August of 2021. You know, over a year and a half ago. Jesus. The information reported as violating privacy is at 749 to 827. For those who don't know, that's the clip where I edit a dunce cap on Liam's head. <laughs> oh, gee, I wonder why he's complaining. <laughs> Please note that the violation may also occur in the title, video description, channel image, or background. We would like to give you an opportunity to remove or edit the private information that might be present within the content reported. Except it's not private. He, he uploaded this personally, and I'm allowed within fair use to use these videos however I see fit. And yeah, some of you might say that I, he deleted the video and stuff, which, fair enough, doesn't change the fact that he still uploaded them. They're up on the internet now, and by fair use, I am allowed to commentate and criticize him using his video. So I'm in the right here. There is no violation of privacy already because he personally already uploaded these videos. And they're still on YouTube to watch. So, again... <laughs> I'm not breaking a rule here. Anyway, I got another privacy complaint for the other Liam video between 231 and 249. It's just a clip of him complaining and crying, go like, oh, I'm sorry, Razorblade. I'm so sorry. I never meant to stalk and harass you for three whole years. And then the last one is for the live stream where I sit down and watch the entirety of his response video. And as you can see in the time coding, it's 000, to 8.30.15, which is the entire video. It's, I don't even know how that violates your privacy, man. That's, it doesn't, you don't see your face once in that whole entire thing, at least I don't think. It's, again, it's an eight and a half hour video. It's, it's ridiculous. There's no violation of privacy in any of these videos. Whatever I show your face, 
That was in a video that you personally uploaded. And it doesn't matter if they're deleted. What matters is they still are protected by fair use. You uploaded these publicly for anyone to use. This is not a violation of privacy. I'm not telling people where you live. I'm not telling people to go after you. I'm not doing any of that shit. I'm just saying, hey, this guy bullied and harassed me for three years. Hey, this guy tried to strike down my channel with flagrant wrong copyright strikes. That's all I did. That's all these videos do. Yeah, so for those who have seen some of my uh, Dragons and Iron Realms videos, you know that I was making shots at a certain fan who likes this show a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a... Uh... It's this guy. Daddy John, I know those mean critics on YouTube are hating the show for what is, in my opinion, petty reasons, but I really liked it, and I know I'm better than them. Why else would I stalk them for years on end and... abuse minors so I could keep doing that in secret? I figured I have a right to. I mean, again, the guy's given me a lot of shit in the past, and on top of that, again, he's done a lot of terrible things, so I think I'm in the right to make fun of him whenever I like. And some of you might say, well, that's bullying, DJ. That's being mean. And, you know, fair enough. Guy's still a terrible person. I used to be friends with Liam from December 2021st to May 2022nd. He manipulated and gaslit me and to make me think he did nothing wrong. He tried to actually use me as a pawn and leave comments on videos and got me into a bunch of drama. I am 14 and that really impacted my mental state. Yeah. So let's, let's make this clear. Liam is, from what I guess, 24 years old. Judging from a video he uploaded on his channel, it's public, so again, not violating privacy with that. And yet he made a 14-year-old minor go around and comment on other people's videos because he's too much of a pussy-ass bitch to do it himself. It's, it's pathetic. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. He bullied and forced a 14-year-old to do his bidding. Like, I don't want to see anyone defending this guy. I'm sorry. He's a shitty person, and I think shitty people get what they deserve. Sorry, not sorry. The same minor also brought up that Liam called him the N-word in a voice chat, all for saying that some of the new Pokemon games were mid. He bullied people in an old Discord server, and he even told his mom on him when he made a mukbang image. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of funny to want to think about it. I mean, now to be fair, these are just words. That's all this is. This isn't like solid evidence he actually said it. It's not like we caught him on recording saying these words or anything like that. This is just an accusation. But considering all the stuff we do know he did, with all of the receipts that we do have of him actually doing these things, I think it's safe to assume he is this kind of person. He is okay with saying the N-word. He's cool with bullying people and just being an all-around horrible piece of shit so again you know you get what you deserve man that's all i gotta say probably the most ironic part about these privacy complaints is the fact that Leon himself has told me to leave him the hell alone so it's like wait so i have to leave you alone but you're still free to target my channel and do all this bullshit that's perfectly fine yeah thanks that's real fair the reason i made a new channel in the first place was because i was super stressed out over the fact that you are continuing to unnecessarily continue this pointless drama between us no i wasn't i was making fun of you sure but i was not continuing this you commented this dude you did this i'm just gonna say this once this needs to stop I'm sick and tired of beating a dead horse that I don't even stand behind anymore. Except, no, you totally do, because your actions here have clearly shown you still do. I've been going through nothing but pain and suffering behind the scenes mentally, and I've actually thought of ending myself at times. I'm serious. This motherfucker is actually using suicide as a please forgive me kind of thing. That's honestly so disgusting, dude. That's like... Dude, that fucking really fucking irks me right there. As someone who has been suicidal and even attempted to take his life at one point... I take this shit very fucking seriously. That is not fucking cool. At all. Fucking using suicide to get pity points. That is, that's just downright low. It's fucking awful, dude. Fuck you, Liam. Seriously? Please, if you're doing this just because I did something similar to you, just end this nonsense already. Except, <laughs> you did. Oh my god. I didn't make my new channel to try and hide from this. Yeah, you did. You, you completely did. I did this because the stress ate away at my sanity. I'm not the same as I was before. I just want to move on with my life and forget you. And yet you commented. So, you're kind of a liar. Again. But you and others refuse to let that happen. So please, I'm on my hands and knees begging you. Please let this be the final time you talk about me. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, again, I did not comment. Okay? You commented. You were the one who said shit like that. 
You're the one who wants to be left alone, and yet you're still commenting. You're still doing this shit, making these privacy complaints and shit. Are you kidding me? You want to be left alone, dude? Then actually take your advice and leave me alone. Come on! So yeah, I told him that in a reply, and this is what he had to reply right back. Yeah, just go ahead and ignore everything I actually said and just mock and insult me continuously. You really are just continuing to prove my point, dude. Except... No, I'm not. Again, the hypocrisy is there. You're fucking, you're commenting, telling me to leave you alone, and yet I am I left you alone. I don't care. Sure, I made a joke every once in a while, but you're a piece of shit, so fuck you anyway. But other than that, I didn't bother you. I didn't come after you. I left you the hell alone. So, <laughs> what, what do you want from me, dude? It's ridiculous. And of course, when Liam couldn't comment anymore because, you know, he doesn't have any balls whatsoever, he decided that his boyfriend had to come and take the reins for him. Mm -hmm. Liam must really have real estate in your head, dude. Except he commented. He's the one who commented first. So, who has real estate in their head? Huh? You can't stop tweeting about him? I don't tweet about him. Making videos on him? I don't make videos on him. I make fun of him every once in a while, but the videos aren't about him specifically. Featuring old clips of him in your videos, though he, for the better part of a year, hasn't mentioned you anywhere, not true, and unlisted and outright deleted videos about you after apologizing. He didn't apologize. At all. And the only reason he deleted those videos is because he was getting shit for it. He's easily up there with Minilad and Logan Paul in terms of, well, in the moment I thought it was a good idea, but now that people are actually giving me shit about it, suddenly I realize it's wrong. Liam only deleted those videos because he wasn't popular for it. If people were giving him phrase for doing it, not only would he keep it up, he would most likely keep doing more videos. Which is kind of sad because I was really hoping to see those Land for Time response videos. Mm -hmm. You should be the one to stop talking, stop responding, and start blocking. <laughs> the irony in that sentence. Like, dude, he commented on my channel. You commented on my channel. If anyone should block me, it's you guys. Seriously, I don't, I don't understand. It's, it's fucking crazy. It's ridiculous, dude. It's fucking crazy. It's like they're trying to actively gaslight me in front of my whole audience. It's like... Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Trying to make me out like I'm the fucking bully here when I'm just calling you guys out for your shitty behavior. It's ridiculous. And of course, Liam's boyfriend decided to come back for round two. Well, that's almost 30 minutes of my life that I won't get back. I think this show is great. He even challenged me to a debate. So it's kind of funny that I don't see any comments on like Audrey's video or anything. It's like, Audrey is definitely way better at reviewing the Nine Realms than I'll ever be. So if anything, he should want to debate her because I'm pretty sure she would flatten his ass. Not saying I wouldn't flatten his ass, but I mean, it's just kind of fucking hilarious. It's like, it's funny that some of Liam's friends are now commenting, and then not even 24 hours later, I get privacy complaints. Yeah. It's just, it's kind of funny. First, some of Liam's friends show up, comment, defend him, and now I'm getting privacy complaints from Liam. It's just... It's, it's, it's insane. It's, it's absolutely insane. So, for those who don't understand how serious this is, I have three of these complaints. Three of them. Now, when you get your first community guideline strike, this can involve violating privacy. It's just a warning. I have three of them. Three. That means that if all three of these complaints go through, then all three videos get taken down instantly, and I get one warning and two community guideline strikes. Now, if I get three community guideline strikes, my channel's dead. It's gone. It's insta-deleted, all the videos, everything. I won't be allowed to make another YouTube channel. I won't be allowed to start again. I'll effectively be fired from YouTube forever. Now, I'm finally at a point where I can say YouTube is my job. And it, it fucking pisses me off so much that this guy who wants the drama to be done, wants to be left alone, is now doing this shit Again, this is the second time he's tried to do this. The first time he did this was back in October of 2021, where he issued those bullshit copyright strikes. And now he's using the community guidelines against me. Which is so ironic because he's bullied people, he's harassed people, he's done shitty things, he made videos bullying and harassing people, he broke the community guidelines, he broke the copyright guidelines, he's broken the rules time and time again, he's uploaded tons of episodes of TV shows violating copyright law again, both on his old channel and this new one. He's doing so much shit, and yet I'm being punished for it. I'm getting called out by YouTube, and I could potentially lose my job. Something I've worked at for seven years now. 
And it's it's ridiculous. And all because he can't handle the shit he himself threw out. It's pathetic. It's sad. And I'm fucking livid. It's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's truly astonishing how after four fucking years, he still can't leave me alone. And he still can't fucking, fucking take the hint, you know? It's like, it's like Liam. You want me to stop mentioning you in videos? Fine, I'll stop. I'm done. I don't want to talk about you anymore. I want you to disappear from my memory just as much as you want to disappear from mine. But you gotta have your friends stop commenting on my videos. You gotta stop doing these bullshit fucking strikes against me because you know damn right they're false. Because he's a butthurt little baby, he can't handle what's being done and what's being said about him. It's just, it's, it's sad, okay? But look, if it makes you happy, dude, I'll stop talking about you. I'm not referencing Liam ever again in my videos. I won't do it anymore, okay? But shit, dude, really? You wonder why people are making fun of you. You wonder why nobody likes you. Because you, you do shit like this. You pretend that you're suicidal to get pity points. You bully and harass minors. You called them the N-word at one point. You stalked and harassed me. All for what? Because I said Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is a bad movie? Dude, this stopped being about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom a long fucking time ago. It really did. It's, it's sad. It's, it's, it's insane. It really fucking is. Liam, if you want to salvage any of your reputation, you will rescind these privacy complaints. You will stop commenting on my videos. You'll stop having your boyfriend comment on my videos. You want to be left alone? Then be alone. I thought I needed to get this out there to talk to you guys, let you all know about the situation. It's just that considering that YouTube is, well, YouTube, I have a feeling that YouTube won't side with me in this case. If you look at the Ackman situation, for example, then you'll know damn right they care way more about those who are criticizing the platform than they are about who's actually violating the platform. And it's just, it's, hip it's hypocritical. And on top of that, it's fucking dangerous. And Liam is such a danger. And I wanted to get that out there. So Liam, if you watch this video, I'll stop talking about you, but you gotta grow the fuck up, man. Seriously, grow the fuck up. Thumbelina. That's the toad we've been telling you about. We meet at last, Mr. Toad. Fairy Prince. No. You killed him. <laughs>